type power which is a no light so the uh, power uh, is not working okay so I turn the thing back and I find okay the fuse is blown uh, right now so um, need to get a new fuse for uh, the power when you have the the blue fuse uh, on the power sometimes it mean the circuit somewhere short and uh, I think the most the problem uh, will be on the power transistor. So underneath here, we show all the power transistor here. So it's better to check all these transistor before get the fuse back in. Otherwise, it will uh, blow, blow the fuse again. So first, I use uh, the meter and turn the meter at the dial. Uh, test and what I do is go with the uh, this is a C on a pack and I think the B is sung here and C uh, E is on here the base and the emitter so uh, when you check this you can see the number if they are close to zero they use it like this close to zero I mean it's not good anymore. This is bad. This maybe. And this one is bad too. And I look at this one here. This is bad. This is bad too. Uh, this one may be okay. So, okay. <laughs> I just finish the repair and I hook up the power to the uh, gimbal.
so we can turn on the power and see if the dim bulb or dim it means the there's no short inside now. So let me turn on the power. Okay. You can see the dim bulb dim right away. So that means there's no short anymore. So I can check the uh, bias now. Okay, uh, that's the manual regarding the bias adjustment right here. And it's hooked up the meter to TP4102. Uh, it's a left channel. And then adjust R four one eight left channel, and the reading is fourteen mini volt plus minus one mini volt uh, DC. Okay, I already hooked up the. Uh the meter to the uh, test point right here and that's uh, the we are here we can adjust right here and need to go up to 14 so okay this is right channel right now we have Point seven, so we need a chest right here for the uh, right channel. So we can turn this thing on. Let me try to do the test again. Mm -hmm.